Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm standing next to the 2023 Toyota RAV4 XLE. Let's talk about pricing here for the XLE RAV4. Starting price is at $31,975. This one stickers for $37,536. If you guys are in the market for a Toyota, be sure to check out South Day Toyota and Extra Tony. He will get you into your next vehicle. And keep in mind, Toyota did make some big changes for 2023 for the RAV4. Looking at the exterior styling here for the 2023 Toyota RAV4 XLE, guys. Keep in mind, Toyota did make the exterior changes for 2022. So looking here, my model is painted in this beautiful Lunar Rock exterior color, which looks really good with the chrome, the black painted trim throughout this vehicle. Looking at these headlights here, they're going to be a full LED projector headlight with this LED daytime running light with this incandescent turn signal. You guys can go for a full LED. If you guys go for like a package and whatnot, Toyota will switch the incandescent out for a full LED. That's also full LED fault lights here at the lower part of the fascia, front parking sensors. There's this Tacoma-like grille here, which I think gives this vehicle a really good, nice, rugged look. Over here's the Toyota logo here, which houses the driver's assistance tech. More black painted trim here at the lower part of the front lip splitter. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this updated RAV4. This vehicle also has 8.6 inches of ground clearance, so pretty good step in height in this segment. Looking at the wheelbase here, this has a 106.5 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 180.9 inches. So it's right on par with every other vehicle in this segment. I do like the nice aluminum finish here to the rim design. It's a multi-spoke design. These are a 235-55 tire. They're wrapped in this 19 inch rim design, which looks really good here with this Lunar Rock exterior paint. There's some more black painted trim here for the cladding. Of course, it wouldn't have been an SUV without the cladding here. More cladding at the lower part of the door panel there. There's also this LED side marker here with this body colored mirror cap. There's some chrome trim around the window wells here. And there's this gloss black finish aerodynamic roof rails here with the standard size sunroof. And you guys can get a panoramic option on the RAV4 if you would like. Making our way towards the rear of the vehicle, there's also this floating roof design here, which gives it a really nice look. The tail lights here are just like the front with this LED combination, LED brake light, incandescent turn signal and reverse light. There's the XLE badge here, the Toyota badge, and the RAV4 badge, which is finished in this nice chrome here. There's more black painted trim here. There's rear parking sensors. It's also dual tip exhaust here, as you guys can see. Open up the tailgate back here. This is a power opening tailgate. Once it opens up, it reveals 37.6 cubic feet of space and my model does come equipped with the JBL sound system and there's this tunnel cover here with these very premium weather mats here so you guys waste anything you won't damage up the carpet and there's this full size spare tire back here and to let down the rear seats you have to lean over here and push that there and that expands the cargo to 67.9 cubic feet of space but keep in mind this vehicle does offer tons of cargo space just like every other competitor in this segment. Looking at the interior here of the 2023 Toyota RAV4 XLE, you guys are gonna know the biggest change here with this larger infotainment system, which runs their newer interface, which supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This interior is very well laid out, just like last year's model, besides the newer, larger screen here, which I think is a nice improvement for 2023. But we're gonna ready to shut the door of the RAV4. And to start up the vehicle, you guys know, put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here. Yeah, you guys can see all the electronics will come on. You also see the gauge will do a nice sweep. It does says RAV4 right there in that partial digital display. The There's going to be a digital and analog finish here, which is for the fuel gauge, cooling temperature, and also for your RPM gauge, which is right there. This does have the JBL sound system, which sounds pretty good. The materials here on the door panel are going to be this nice soft touch material with this aluminum trim around the grab handle, door handle, and there's two pairs of memory seats here. It is automatic up and down for our for window which is a nice touch there's your lock control mirror adjustment controls your automatic high beam switch heated steering wheel function your trunk release and this is a manual tilt and telescoping wheel does offer good range and adjustability there's your turn signal and headlight stock there one wiper stock is right there over here's for your driver's assistance tech your sync and track your volume controls you can customize this partial display here in front of you by using this touch area here which shows your driver's assistance tech no messages, your fuel economy, also your, also your driver's assistance tech. The materials on the dashboard here are gonna be this nice soft touch ejection mode plastic. So the materials in this vehicle are very premium, very upscale. Like I mentioned, let's talk about the biggest change for 2023, which is their newer interface here. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as wireless. This screen looks just like out of the Venza, which is a nice uh, look here. It doesn't eat into your visibility, so Toyota did a really good job here 
with this larger display. It's very su supportive and very snappy here. As you guys can see, going here to the Toyota interface here, you can go through your media sources, your phone. Uh, also, uh, you go to your car information, your trip information is here. It shows your fuel economy and whatnot, your range. So in your history and whatnot, so you can customize this uh, to your liking. There's your air vents here, nice soft touch material here with this nice stitching here. There's dual climate control. I like the large uh, knobs here for the dual climate control. There's some shortcut buttons here for the fans and speed. There's your heated seats uh, function here, stability control, automatic start stop. There's a wireless phone charger here. It does support my iPhone 14 Pro Max. There's a USB charging port, 12 volt is there. Put in the vehicle to reverse. It does a real trajectory also with distance markers there's front and rear parking sensors and there's a wide angle so it does have rear cross traffic alert so it will put on the rear brakes for you if it senses that you're not paying attention kicking it down here to drive over to the left this does house the eight speed automatic transmission putting the vehicle into park here there's electronic parking brake auto hold eco normal and sport so it's three different drive modes here in the rav4 and there's a little storage area here this is the current key fob it has lock it has lock unlock trunk release and a panic button it does says RAV4 also with the Toyota logo on back of the key fob there's two cup holders here nicely padded area open it up it does reveal a good amount of storage in there there is two type c ports in there the seats very comfortable i like the way that they look and feel above me there is the standard size sunroof you guys can go for a, a panoramic sunroof in the RAV4 if you truly want that large uh, sunroof and above me there's going to be full led dome lighting throughout the cabin push this down here it does reveal your sunglass holder and there's storage just like on the highlander it does give you storage here open this glove box here it does offer a very deep storage but overall the interior of the rav4 is hugely improved especially with this larger infotainment system which does support apple carplay and android auto looking at the interior space here of the rav4 open up the rear door here this vehicle offers tons of space as you guys see my model is complemented by this black interior like i mentioned from the front seats looking at the door panel material is gonna be a nice soft touch material with this aluminum trim here around the grab handle even on the door handle here switch gear feels very high quality it says rav4 here on the actual speaker cover which has this nice texture to it and there's a cup holder here in the door pocket it's going to be nicely padded here but getting into this vehicle like i mentioned it has 8.6 inches of ground clearance pretty good ground clearance to get into this vehicle and i do have plenty of foot space underneath the driver's seat there's rear air vents here also with usb charging ports the floor back here is not flat but you can fit a middle passenger here in the central seat and above me there's the standard size sunroof and yes rav4s do come equipped with panoramic sunroofs my model just does not have it there's full led lights in the actual cabin pulling this armrest down here it does reveal two cup holders and you can also recline the seat if you would like or have it in this upright position if you guys are trying to get comfortable on a long road trip. Overall, the RAV4 does offer a good amount of legroom space and it doesn't feel like a penalty box. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the RAV4. This is Toyota's naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder. This powertrain makes 203 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. It is paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. As the RAV4 sits here with front wheel drive, this vehicle weighs in around at 3,400 pounds. Keep in mind, all RAV4 still remain front wheel drive, but all wheel drive is available. Toyota says this vehicle can tow 1,500 pounds. Making our way to the fuel door here, let's talk about fuel economy here for the RAV4. You guys can go for hybrid if you want to get better fuel economy. This is ready to get 27 in the city, 34 on the highway, and 30 combined. Starting off in the 2023 Toyota RAV4 XLE. Let's talk about the powertrain specs. This is Toyota's naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder. This powertrain makes 203 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. It is paired an eight speed automatic transmission. The other competitors in the segment do use a CVT. You, can, you guys can also get the CVT with the RAV4's hybrid uh, powertrain instead of the eight speed automatic transmission. Right now the engine did shut off to save fuel but once I, release my, once I release my foot off the brake, it starts up very smooth here. But let's do a slight acceleration run here and let's see how quick this vehicle is. Keep in mind, this is not the Prime, which offers 302 horsepower. And you guys can defeat the automatic start stop by pressing this button here and the engine will start back up. And that's the speed limit. It's pretty good adequate power uh, in the segment here. Let's talk about visibility, great visibility. The dash is very low. 
the infotainment system here, since it's larger, it doesn't eat into my visibility. The ride quality of this vehicle is really good. It's buttery smooth, even on these 19 inch rims here. I like the nice multi-spoke with the alloy finish. It goes over the, some of the rough uh, parts of the road here just fine. Very smooth ride quality once again. Let's talk about driver's assistance tech here. This does have rear cross traffic alert with emergency braking, lane keeping assist, lane departure. Also with blind spot monitoring. The mirrors here are really good size. I can see around it just fine. The A-pillar here is somewhat kind of thin, but I like that Toyota does give you this separate glass here so you can see around this vehicle. Fuel economy is right at 27 in the city, 34 on the highway, and 30 combined. This vehicle can tow 1,500 pounds properly equipped. It's not a lot, especially in this segment here, but it is nice that Toyota allows you to tow with this vehicle. The seat comfort here is, re is really good, very supportive, very comfortable. The only heated seats, you, but you guys can go for cool seats if you go for the limited trim, I'm, I'm not mistaken. The biggest uh, change here for 2023 is the infotainment system here. It's very supportive, very snappy, especially here on my XLE model. But Toyota did make some other upgrades for the RAV4 lineup here. The materials are very premium here, especially on this XLE model. Uh, good grip here for the steering wheel. Nice controls here for the adaptive cruise control. Over here is for your uh, uh, infotainment system display and whatnot. The rear passengers also get a lot of legroom space so you guys don't have to compromise with this SUV here. It offers one of the, the largest uh, legroom specs in the segment. But keep in mind, some other competitors have grown in the actual legroom department besides the RAV4. But it is nice that you still get a lot of legroom space. There's also rear air vents, USB charging ports. Some other competitors don't even give you that. So keep that in mind and above me there's the standard size sunroof sadly my model does not have the large panoramic uh, sunroof that I would personally want to get in my vehicle but it is nice that you get this standard size sunroof here but overall if you guys like the RAV4 keep in mind this is the top seller in the segment nearly 400,000 plus units of the RAV4 uh, sells every single year so it's a very strong competitor in this segment especially for Toyota after spending time with the 2023 Toyota RAV4 XLE, I like the nice tech upgrades that Toyota has offered for this model year. With that larger infotainment system, running the newer interface, now it supports Apple CarPlay in Android Auto as wireless. Previous, before you had to use the cable in order to get the CarPlay in Android Auto to work, but I like, once again, that they did update the actual tech for this model year. And also the exterior changes came for 2022, giving the RAV4 more of an aggressive and more of a rugged look. With that being said, this vehicle does offer adequate power, but keep in mind, if you're looking for a turbocharge option, I would recommend looking at the other competitors in this segment. With that being said, the RAV4 is still a good competitor in this segment, selling nearly 400,000 plus units every single year. So Toyota, you're doing a good job of bringing the customers. With that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this full review here on the 2023 Toyota RAV4 XLE. Be sure to check me out on Instagram at Drive One Reviews. Hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.